Hi, this is Annie Manning with Paint the Moon Photoshop Actions, and today I'm going to take you through an edit using the new Luminosity Essence and the Artisan Action Sets, and today's edit's going to be using Photoshop Elements, and we're going to start out with the Essence Set here, so I'm going to go up to my Effects Palette and choose the Essence there. The Essence Set has your workflow actions, including your color base workflow actions and your black and white workflow actions, as well as your beginning and finishing touch actions. And you're going to want to use these before you run any of the artisan actions, which are your color shifts and hazes and mattes and uh, the more artistic side of it. And so we're going to start out with a uh, color workflow action from the Essence Set called Soft Splendor. And uh, this one gives a lot of uh, rich color and a little bit of uh, a soft feeling to the image, very deep and rich. And at the end of the action, it's going to tell us to mask off uh, anything like eyes or face, or sometimes you want to do the entire subject if you don't want any of the softness on your subject. And I am going to, it ends here on the soft gossamer layer here and you want to make sure your black is selected for your paintbrush and just very quickly mask off the face of your subject and I'm going to go up to my adjusting layer in this act this actions um, uh, all of the actions are adjustable uh, in one layer here um, which is your adjust all layer and you can change the opacity on the entire action from just that one layer and I'm going to turn it all the way up to 100 percent on this one and uh, the great thing about these sets are they are completely stackable and so you can run your base workflow and then move on to the next uh, artistic edits or any other kind of edits you want to run on it and they all stack on top of each other without interfering with each other and without needing to flatten and so after we run our color base workflow action we are going to uh, go to our artisan set and I'm going to run an action called matte portobello and uh, this gives a very matte look to it and it's another one where you want to mask it off of the face a little bit and it's going to end pretty intense. I'm going to take that down to about 25%. And then I'm just going to take my same brush and just mask a little bit off of her face here. And I'm going to turn that back up just a little bit. And then I'm going to run another artisan action here called Rhapsody. And it's going to stack it up on top there for me again and bring the opacity on that one down just a bit. And I'm, gonna, I'm going to bring my brush opacity down to 50% because I want to take some of it off of her face but not all of it and just very quickly mask over her face there. And I'm going to finish this up with the rich deep matte and that's one I like to finish a lot of my edits with. And, and it's one you definitely want to mask off of the face. So you just take your black brush again, and I'm going to drop this way down. That's way too intense for this edit. And again, especially on the eyes, you want to mask that off of the eyes. I'm going to go over a few times on that because I still have my brush at 50%. And you can see over here in our layers palette, we have all of these different actions stacked on top of each other. And you can go and adjust any of the layers in inside the actions or use the adjust all for each of the actions uh, and it'll turn the entire action on and off with that one layer as well as adjusting the opacity on that entire action and they're all stacked on top of each other we have the rich deep matte the Rhapsody and the Matte Portobello from the Artisan Luminosity, the Artisan set. And then our base color workflow action down here is the Soft Splendor from the Essence. And you can see the final before and the final after on that. And uh, again, this is Paint the Moon, Luminosity, the Essence, and the Artisan action sets. And I thank you for listening. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.